Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd do a quick little demo with the Ozbot. Now, what I've done is um, I've put the Ozbot on a tripod and I've connected it with a longer cable than the one that was uh, included and I have a recording on QuickTime here. So initial impressions of the Ozbot, I just uh, grabbed this here, the box, really nice box. And actually it comes um, really well sort of packaged because on the UPS box that, that, that on the box that UPS delivered, it actually had Ozbot tape. On the bubble wrap, it actually had Ozbot bubble wrap. So uh, that's pretty good. It comes in a nice little box like this. And when I open this up, um, what you see is there's a nice little case here. And let me just see if I can zoom in. And you can see that. Okay, that's that's the case. Now I can't see how good the zoom is because uh, uh, I have a recording behind me. Let me just zoom out. Okay, and then you get uh, a little box here, and this box had the cable. So the first thing that I wasn't happy with was that the charging unit that came with it is with an American plug. So it's completely useless unless you're in America and for Europeans it just doesn't work. So there should have been an option that Ozbot um, um, or OBSbot, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, that they actually had either a European charger or an American charger because the thing is it's a you don't really need it because it's connected to USB and I think others have actually said that why do we need a charger if it actually connects via USB and environmentally, well, I'm just going to be chucking that charger because I, I don't need it. And it looks like it's an actual a little plug unit for a, a, a really old Nokia or Ericsson phone, perhaps. Um, so then what's the next thing? Um, I found that I plugged it into um, my Mac and it was perfect. Now I thought you had to install the Ozbot software, uh, the Ozbot software before you could actually use it, but no, you, you, it seems that you don't um, because I plugged it in, I'm using it on QuickTime and QuickTime is recording here and it picks up the mic and it picks up the actual, um, just move here, and it picks up the actual uh, rotation, uh, the, 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 the rotation, the face tracking perfectly. Um, the Ozbot software doesn't work on uh, the Mac Big Soar, if you have Big Soar, uh, the latest operating system. It just seems to just freeze and goes unresponsive. So I'm sure I'm missing some um, functionality there. Now, for performance, the audio that you're, you're hearing here or you're listening to is actually taken directly from the Ozbot. So I'm not wired up with my... The Pell mic, or I'm not using any external mics, so you can judge on that. I think it's acceptable. It's I, I'm not sure about the noise cancelling. Again, maybe the noise cancelling comes through the actual software, but out of the box, there's I don't see that there is um, huge noise cancelling. But that doesn't really matter. Now, as far as tracking goes, um, I think it tracks pretty well and pretty smoothly. And if I were to stand up you would see my glorious uh, Christmas jumper. And then if I sit down again, it actually tracks me down again. So it's it's pretty good. One thing I found is that the um, viewing angle is really, really wide. So for example, on other cameras that I have set up, um, you would just see you know, a nice little square piece here. But on this particular camera, um, it's showing, it would nearly show half my apartment because it's a very wide uh, angle, but that's that's not a problem. So what you could do is you could um, use it in the zoom. Now, if I want to, for example, if I want to turn on face tracking or turn it off, I have to take my right hand, it seems to be just the right hand, and I hold it up like that, and the light will flash blue. And now you'll see that as I move, it doesn't actually track me. So I've now turned off the tracking. If I hold up my hand again, it flashes blue again, and then as I move, yep, I didn't do it properly, so let's just have a look. Okay, when it goes green, it's 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 locked in. And okay. Okay, so now <laughs> it doesn't want to work when I want to do it. Okay, so I put my hand up, it flashes blue, and now it decides it doesn't want to do it. Okay, so I, I might be just doing something wrong, it says I can't see myself. Uh, it can be a bit of a problem, okay? 
So when I watch back this video, maybe I've been zooming in because to zoom, you go like that and it zooms in and then you go like that and it zooms out. Um, and if you keep your finger in that gesture, it'll just, um, it won't hold the zoom as in it. It'll think you want to switch it off. So let's just try the tracking again. And no, it's deciding that it's not tracking. So I, I must be turning it on and turning it off. Okay. Ah, now I think it's tracking. Yeah, now it's tracking. So that's something that you just have to get used to because, because it's hand gestures. Obviously, if it sees the hand for too long, it's registering that I'm turning it off or I'm turning it on, etc. So it pans left and right, and it actually pans up. As you've seen, if I stand up, it will pan up, and if I if I sit down, it will pan down again. Um, quality wise, well, it is only 1080, which at this point, it's selling a technology that is older, still acceptable, but it's older because we are moving towards 4K. But if you're using it for YouTubes, if you're using it for tutorials, I think it could be fine if you're using it for video conferencing. Um, I did actually just use it for a video conference that I did, a one-on-one -on -one session. It worked perfectly. The video conference software picked up the, um, uh, was a web-based one, picked up the camera, no problems. The only problem that I found is that I tend to talk a lot with my hands and sometimes it picked up a gesture and it started to zoom out or it started to stop tracking or start tracking. Because what I did find was when it was tracking me and I was kind of moving and I was talking to people like this, uh, what was happening was that it was it was tracking when I didn't want to. So I went like that. And then it actually I uh, then it actually stopped or started tracking. So now I think I've stopped the tracking. But then I would be talking to somebody and I would go like that on the screen and they would go, oh, what's wrong? And they wouldn't realize that what I'm trying to do is actually uh, stop the tracking there. Um, what else can I say about it? Well, as I say, this is an unedited video. Usually what I will do is I will edit and I'll make this fancy and I'll, I'll, I'll do lots of things. I may, when I post this up on YouTube, I may actually just put the um, uh, put my logo and stuff on it. Or I may do it before I, I post up on Facebook, but I won't edit the audio in any way or I won't make any edits. Um, so that you can see how the video would look if you actually just took it and stuck it on a tripod. Overall, first impressions are pretty good, I have to say. Time will tell. So uh, this is Richard going bye-bye. And I hope that's zoomed out or zoomed in. All right, guys, talk to you very soon. Any questions, just um, drop me a note in the description. Talk to you then, guys. Bye.